<laughs> Don't mess with a man's chicken. Especially when it's jerk. <laughs> Especially when it's on a stick. You love it, don't you? You keep your lollipops, your ice lollies. I want my chicken on a stick. But apparently, we are live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are live. <laughs> I hope no one heard about the chicken and the stick. <laughs> I hope they all did. I'm going to be reviewing this chicken and the stick. <laughs> Do it. It's very chickeny. Uh, pardon me. This is the anything goes, no rules after show. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> so let's, let's all get uh, Jay's channel banned. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's not. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, we go. We've got people in the um, chat. Lovely, lovely. Share it out, everyone. Share the link. Um, I want to find the live stream. Don't forget to click on home first. T sending a tweet. Tweet, tweet. A twit. Tweeting. <laughs> a twit. Sharing on Facebook. So YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are coming together to do a social media site. What? Really? Yeah, it's, it's called You Twit Face. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. I'm here all uh, week. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so gullible. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. Okay, <laughs> burn. <coughs> I'm, is, I'm good. Oh, come on, stop. Super off the Dawson awesome vape show after dark. <laughs> <laughs> no holds bar, lads. <laughs> you lot need to calm down about all this, like, no holds bar and all that. <laughs> That's why we did it on your channel, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why Nick said Jay's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Not it. <laughs> That one needs rep, does he? We should have done it on Mike. He's got him some activity. I don't know if Mike can even do live streams right yeah, now. Man. You really? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I think you can. I don't think you can do like super chat and mobile live. What's yeah. super chat? It's where you pay to bump your comment up to the top and it gets shown for however yeah. long you pay for. It's mm -hmm. kind of a. It's kind of a shitty thing to do. Uh, I don't know. I feel like yeah, super chat, super, super chat can kiss. I think I think I, I I think I've activated my channel. I was playing around with it the other day. I don't know if I did or not. What you got to pay to have your comment up there? No, no, yeah. no. No, anyone can comment, but if someone wants to donate, like, you know, like when people watch Twitch and they yeah. donate to the person playing, it's basically like that. Um, but I was just playing around with it after the YouTube. Uh, space event I went to, and I was just seeing if I could actually do it on my channel. Um, so yeah, what's going on, everybody? Jerry, Macavape, Shane, Macavape, the... Gen Dyer, and Scott. Craziness. <laughs> Are we gonna be admins now? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to give you an admin? You, you already are. You should be. Am I? Uh, Let's let me find see. out. Wait, I have a little ge thing next yeah, to me. Yeah. yeah, I am. I am. A moderator, sorry. I don't mess yeah, around, mate. Right. You know, How yours, did you make us moderators first without us talking on them? Because it's automatic. Because you oh. did it last time. Up here. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. Up, you know. I've, obviously, everyone knows my channel because you just left my channel. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Chris again? Is he changing his snapback? Yeah, Chris is turning his hat around. Here, wait, wait. After show. <laughs> there. Word up. That's what I'm talking about right there. This is, this is my oh. incognito. After show, let me put my man bun back in. Uh, do, you stick it out, do you stick it out of the back of your cap? <laughs> yeah. I can't. I don't know if I could. I probably could tie it up back there, actually. It just all fall forward in my face. Yes, Scott, oh. I'm good. Thank you very much. Do you know what I might do? I might get the people that are in here. Obviously, they've got like Hangouts, right? Because they're on Google. No, they have YouTube. No, they're not. They're on YouTube. Yeah. So I might get them to put in their email address, and I might invite one randomly just to get them to join in. Well, you could that's you could I'm, do that. That's what I'm doing on Monday Monday nights on my channel. 
Oh, yeah. Great minds think alike. They do indeed. So come on, guys, hit up the chat with your email address. You might whoever, be lucky and you might get a notification to join us on the live stream. Whoever wants to be added. And whoever wants their personal information shared on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Just yeah, show, put your email out there so I can send you random emails. Oh shit. Yeah. All right, then PM it me. Can you PM on YouTube? Mm, you can. You can, but it's yeah. I never check my inbox because I don't get notifications on my phone. Um, so I never check my YouTube inbox. Alright. Whoever wants to do it, you've got to hit message the L V C page. So search L V C on Facebook. L C page. Oh yeah. Share the link. Share it. Paul the lever cronk. Carl Van Dyke said Paul the lever cronk. Right. <sighs> well Mix on the beer. The idea is that eventually everyone will be subscribed to everyone's channel. So and like everyone will know everyone. Therefore yeah. you should be able to, you know. Uh, you got your it's in your description, Jay. The link is in your description. To what your link? to your Facebook page and your Facebook group. Oh yeah. Um Shane just said that, that people can't put their uh, their email yeah, addresses in because they're not moderators. Um right. so if you if you do want to, then drop Jay an email on his Facebook page. Um oh, it won't won't go Shane. Do you know what it won't let me post the link? I can get Shane in. I'm talking to him now. <laughs> I wonder if you can add him via the, the Hangout. If you go to the Hangout and just click oh, Add, yeah, you can just type in names. Yeah, you can just type in Shane Wiseman. Okay. Just match it up with their profile picture or whatever. Someone put an X1 if they want to jump on then. Fair enough. Okay, one second. X1. <laughs> uh, one minute, I've just got to um, add Sir Bacon a lot. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> let, me pull, let, let me pull a mic and have two of me up. <laughs> yeah, or three. <laughs> yeah, three the other night before we left. Did he? I did. Yep. Oh, look, there we go. I've got one there. Yeah, yeah Jay. Nice one. Let me just pull that up. It's not my so fault. Yeah, no, I think it was a good stream, guys. I think it was a good stream. What does everyone else think? Yeah, it was good. I think it was terrible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <we're playing laughs> <channel>. Nick's going <laughs> to delete yeah. off his channel now. <laughs> <laughs> he sits down as he just watches the views go up and up and up and up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to change the thumbnail to just me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I love uh, how you zoomed in just then as well, Nick, when you said it. Right, <laughs> well, give me a second. So, we're just going to get Shane in. Is it Shane? Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to get Shane in right now. Um, Katia, is it Katitonia? I don't know how to say that. Katatonia. There you go. I do I do apologize. My pronunciation was rubbish right That's there. Katia. Let, let, let's get um, Shane in, and then after, um, we'll get you in. Yeah, nice one. We should have like a game show. <laughs> also, can we just ignore that comment from Daily Vape TV because he done times two instead of one? <laughs> Cat, there we go. Yay. Cat works for me. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Nice one, Cat. Works so much better. Right, I've sent um, Shane the, 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 the invite. Epic. So what I was saying is like eventually everyone will know everyone else and we'll all be kind of like, oh, hey, cat, hey, you know, Mac of Apes, hey, Carl, everyone like that. Like we'll be able to just shout everyone out because they've been on the stream multiple times. You know, we've seen their face like Jen, Jen Dai. She's been on the stream a couple of times. So we know her by now. And, you know, um, and Shane like, Wiseman, you've got to go to go to Google and type in Google Hangouts, and it and it will be on there, dude. Hangouts.google.com uh, or whatever it is in the UK. Same thing. Okay, cool. 
I don't think you need Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is just a well. You have to add the plugin. It's a plugin for Chrome and stuff. Yeah, it's all web based anyway. I've just come up another subscriber. I can't believe it. I'm just going out, mate. It's unbelievable. But that's the whole idea of this thing. It is so, yes, but I didn't so, think it'd work. <laughs> Oh, you little <laughs> you negative Nancy. <laughs> <coughs> That's not what you were saying before, mate. What was I saying yeah. before? <clears throat> Jay, give us the two dislikes on the uh, next channel. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jay was like dislike. It's not gonna work. I'm not having this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I logged in on two separate accounts to do that. <laughs> I'd love to, I'd love to find out who is Mr. Dislike. I call them Mr. Dislike because every single video, one or two people always dislike it. But what they don't realize, we talked about this again last time, is that any interaction counts towards bumping your search queue up. So fine by me, Mr. Dislike or Mrs. Dislike. Yeah, I'm not trying to they, genders. They, they think they're actually hurting you, but they're actually doing you a favor. Jen Guy says, I'd love to guest star in the future. Not tonight, though. I'm busy killing beasts on PlayStation. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but we could be like white noise. We're, we're background noise, you know? Just the best light in this one, though. Oh, here he is. What's going on, Shane? Hey, guys. Wait, wait. What's going on? Can you hear me, all right? Yeah, yeah. Hi, and you tell me the light. Might want to turn down the TV though. Yeah, two seconds. Cloudy crate, man. Yeah, drop me the link for the review when you get a chance. Just need to. Um... Yeah, I'm just closing down my other um, YouTube. And make sure you mute the stream too if you want to watch and uh, chime in on chat. I think that's it. Is that better? Yeah, yeah it man. sounds good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so, welcome. You are the first <laughs> guest, I suppose. Yeah, nice to be on. Fine. Right. Mr. Um, Big Boy calls himself. <laughs> How about you, everybody knows us, so how about you give a little introduction and let us know what you're based and... Uh, right, um, I'm Shane Wiseman uh, from Big Boy Coils. Um, at the minute I am vaping on my uh, theory on Squonker with the Rapture RDA. Yeah, shout out the Rapture. Loving it, absolutely great flavour. It's a great, great RDA, isn't it? Um, and then I'm also on my broadside with Apocalypse, with um, Chris's Great British Bake Off. I've still got the same label of the Bake Off on it. I might keep that. I might need to get you to sign that, Chris. I'd keep it, yeah, because I might be changing again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Make up your um... mind, Chris. Did, did you have to change it, Chris, because of the other company called Great British Vape Off? Oh, I changed it because of that, but the actual company have now got in touch. <laughs> really? Yeah, but we've trademarked it, so there's like a little bit of a battle going on at the minute. Well, that's nothing to do with the fact that you superimpose them all in your bottles. No one does know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the private chat. Yeah, that's in a fucking private group. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Live vape dislike fucking blow out and out the water and chill. Uh, we catchy. said anything goes. Don't try and pull it back now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but on the next channel now we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was only yeah, joking, was, uh, guys. I was like a, a little kid with Tourette's before. I was sitting there trying not to tick. I was like... <laughs> I told you you guys could swear. I told you you could swear. I just kind of, but now I just never do on them. Um, I don't think I've ever heard Vinny swear. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! No, Vinny, when you join one of his casts, has the the ten things: thou shall not swear. Thou shall. <laughs> 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 this, 
This is probably in Vinny's vocabulary for swear words. Oh, fiddlesticks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, plum. Oh, fanny. <laughs> <laughs> fanny means something completely different over here, dude. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> what I love is the fanny pack, isn't it? Oh. That's hilarious. Fanny That's pack. A, but we call it a bum bag. Yeah, but because in America, fanny, fanny means bum, bum yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, fanny is not... That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. <laughs> mind your fan, mind my fanny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Where fanny is that packs from? Are, are so not cool. Man, I would rock a fanny pack if I weren't, you know, judge. Ruby Roo Ruby has fanny packs for sale for vape stuff. They have like little pockets and everything. Oh, yeah. I'm not confident enough to wear a fanny pack. Yeah, right. see, I, I still want one of them little packs like Jay's got, them camo ones. These boys but, have got them as well. Hold on. Let's show it off again. Ta-da. Oh, He's done about your little side one that you got from um, oh, the Milkman Company, who are they? Um, Drip, uh, Drip Club. Cravendale. <laughs> Cravendale. Cravendale. <laughs> What's her name? Mrs. Cruz. I forgot her name now. She gave me a load of them. Craig, you can't post links in chat unless you're a moderator. You can get away with it if you like add spaces and stuff. So, um, Shane, what did you think about the show tonight then? Let's get some feedback. Yeah, good show. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll vape to that. Nice one. Let me get my bottle of water. Cheers. <laughs> Healthy. Well, I have to vote to it because my glass is empty. So. Well, Shane, <laughs> what do you think about the format? Let's just say that. Like, what do you think about the overall thing? Like, changing channels every week and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, either that or um, do it like the Ideal Home Show do and have a dedicated channel just for just for the show. We were thinking about that, but the complication would be that we would have to grow that channel from start. And like, we already have yeah. established channels, you know what I mean? Mm. So, with with but also, I thought it would be nice to do it slightly different. You know? Yeah, I don't think I don't think anyone yeah. else has done this where we alternate the channel. Uh, sorry, yeah, the, the show. The what do you think of the name? More importantly, what do you think of the name? And what does everyone in <laughs> chat think of the name too? Just keep keep the name simple, in my opinion. Keep you know. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love the name. Simple. It, it says what it is, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know how I come up? Like, I mean, because obviously it was changed slightly from show to stream, uh, from stream to show. I was in the shower and I started singing that um, Team America song. Come on, then, give us a demonstration. How it went. I can't think of how the song goes now. Uh, try Funny enough, and 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 it just comes to me. I was like, this this song is just so epic and powerful for America, and I was like, this is awesome. And I was just it just comes to me, super awesome vape stream, and then Nick so awesomely changed it to show, which I definitely stand behind. I think you're still bitter about it. I am. It should be stream, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not standing in the river. I'm I'm <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Chris still wants the gentleman of Ape Finder. No, I'm just making an easy ass bike on Monday. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Jesper. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Carl Van Dyke, lol, the vaping finder looks like the dating app. <laughs> uh, Jendi just said. She loves how I think about you guys in the shower. I <laughs> <laughs> my own considering some of the things that go on in, in certain chats. <laughs> I've got to admit, I was wondering when someone would actually pick up on that, Vinny. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It, it's my personal time, you know. It's where I can just restart my engines, get myself back to neutral, you know, and just think about all the wonderful things. There's something about, about that with a wet beard that does it for Vinny. <laughs> yeah, I could just see him <laughs> combing it right now. <laughs> How come on American Dad they say good morning USA? Is it morning when that show's on over here or something? Uh, they say that even if it's on at ten o'clock at night. 
which it is. Yeah. It says it good change. morning because he's jumping. He's jumping out of bed, isn't he, at the start? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Maka. There you go. You just been told. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> you I, American I dadded. I love <laughs> American dad and Family Guy and Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is my favourite at the minute. It's my favourite. I really enjoy Bob's Burgers. Uh, Byron's is my favourite burgers at the moment. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Archer. If you like Bob's Burgers, you'd love Archer. It's the same voice, isn't it? The guy. Yeah, H. John Benjamin. Anything he touches is gold to me. His voice is so awesome, man. It's so unique. I don't know what it is. It's just beautiful. It's like it's like honey for your ears. <laughs> 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 Go on then, Vin. Give us a review. <laughs> ten what? out of ten. You, you want sorry? <laughs> Bob's Burgers. Oh no, hands down, it's the best show ever. Hundred percent. I definitely recommend that show. <laughs> uh, stream never started. What? What? Are we live? <laughs> yep. I'm We're watching this live. So shame. <laughs> Maka says he needs some Vaseline for that burn. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can forgive you, Maka. We know you're a bit northern. Um, Shane, what? Um, so whose whose um, channel were you subscribed to first? Is it Chris's from Empire? Uh, no, I think it was actually Nick's. Oh, well, okay. Um, I've, I've, I've been a subscriber of Nick's for quite a while. Um, and then I sort of started watching Chris and then got involved with Chris um, with the coils as well. That's cool, man. Um, what was it on Nick's channel? Um, I think the first one that I that I saw was the Fresh Bill Friday. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you and everyone else. That's I like think being a builder, it just it sort of caught my eye. What? Have you seen the, the latest and greatest? Um, no. Let, let me show you my creation, my my monster, my Frankenstein. It's there just, you go. Thank you. <laughs> that is the Kevlar coil. Oh, that's, that's the one. I, is that the one with the um, mesh wire? Mesh wire. Everyone asked me to duel it, yeah. so I dueled it. On the cool. goons, <laughs> mesh Why wire folded. Uh, it's a point one eight. Fire that off for us. Oh, it's a spitty one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I think Nick might need some vaseline now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I like some sablon. It's a spitty one. It it doesn't spit. Into your mouth as you're vaping on it, though. Perfectly fine. Oh my god, yeah, I've just realized. Um, is it jo Joff? Joff? He said, Jeff. Shane. Jeff, sorry, I'm really terrible. Um, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> that Shane is the only one not wearing a snapback. I just realized that we are all rocking on, snapbacks. One second, one second. Then. <laughs> I think it's a reviewer thing. I think that if anyone else jumps onto the show, they must wear a snapback. Yeah. I can't do the whole wear of my backwards though, because I just look like some sort of religious cult member. If I do it backwards, it's like <laughs> I, I feel like I look like an idiot. <laughs> I'm not. I, I try and wear mine backwards sometimes, and it just does not suit me. No. I never used to be a hat guy either until I started vaping. Yep. So. There we go. I never had a snapback before I started vaping. <laughs> I'm not the odd one out now. <laughs> I, th I think the first sure, video I saw on would have to be the um, Fate Finder London pod show you've done, pod stream. <clears throat> really? Yeah. You know when you got when you got back to oh yeah the America the and you put the um, yeah that was a long hour long video up. <laughs> Sorry, that was a long one. I actually no. watched the whole thing through as well. Whew. You're a trooper. 
I had some major audio issues. I've, I have like every time I go to an event, I always adjust. You know, I always buy a new bit of kit or bring something else with me that will help me. And like normally, I'll overpack. Like I'll bring my LEDs and my extra batteries and all these chargers and everything. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible with this one, but in the end, it, it didn't do me any justice because I could have used a couple of extra little things that would have helped me. <laughs> is what it is. Live and learn. I'm not reading that out. Okay, we, got a, we got our comment. We got a comment on the video now. What, um, why are you reading that, Joe? Oh, I'm not reading it, so you won't know. I mean, was it in the comment section of this video, or was it? A yeah, it's in the comment video? section of this video. Um, Macavage Brit. Oh, okay, I <laughs> just caught it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting my new snapbacks made, my new logo. People keep asking me for them. Um, it's just, it's just because it costs so much money. <laughs> <laughs> money to get the first logo done. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> Big Boy Coils, so you like, you, you got like a Facebook page or anything or web page? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, um, I've got a Facebook page and a Facebook group. Uh, on, just big, boy, just uh, big boy coils. Oh, there you go. That's your time to shine. It's your plug time, mate. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you may you yeah, make no, like just... pre-made coils then? Um, yeah, I, I make pretty much anything anyone wants. Nice. Good. Can you make me a millionaire? I have. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I could make you one, I make myself one. Um. I have a, a standard standard product list ranging from Clapton's, Fuse Clapton's, uh, Staples, Frame Staples, Staggered Fused and Aliens. Um, and then obviously, if anyone wants anything custom, then I'll just price it up accordingly. Can you make your Staggered Fused Aliens for the um, series? Um, I can actually... I've had a, a guy testing some... Um, series staple coils for me right. which i've made um and apparently they're he, he really really enjoying them nice. um i think they was aiming out at about 0 0.32 somewhere yeah. around there there's a little focusing i mean i'm going to like what felt nice there you go i think i'll be putting an order in soon and they come like that well, they used to come like that. Cool. Yeah, they come in. Um, I've got like a uh, test tubes with cork tops now for the packaging. Oh, that's cool. They're cool. That's so cool. Uh, ordering for the series one, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, just um, message the page or just message me personally on Facebook. Okay. Nice. No problem. No problem. I've, um, I'll be finishing up Chris's order tomorrow. Um, Shane, Jen Dyer wanted to know if she brings all her RDAs with her to Vapor Expo, how much would you charge to put a fresh build in each of them? Um, how many RDAs? <laughs> um, I'm going to have I'm going to have coils with me at Expo, so uh, yeah. Are you exhibiting? Um, I can install them. No, I'm not exhibiting now. I'm just going to be around. Nice. I think I'll have to take a trip and come and see you while we're there. Do you know what, though, Shane? Uh, next year, if we have a stand, you can jump on ours if you ever want to exhibit them, you know. Yeah, sounds good to me. Chris will want free coils for life if you, if you do that. But... <laughs> <laughs> Chris already gets his free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Get that Vaseline back out. 
Burn. <laughs> How do I send a gif in the chat? Vinny <laughs> really likes his RDAs, by the way. So. <laughs> and RDTAs. <laughs> yeah, oh, I said at least five. Um, if they purchase the coils, I'll do the installs free of charge. Um, Cloudy Craig, I am getting my um the first run of samples i'm getting them hopefully within the next two weeks but obviously that's not going to be the final uh that's going to be me trying them out and then going back with my feedback on what i want to change if they're perfect then they're perfect i'm not going to change something for the sake of changing it but i will have the first run of samples with me within the first two weeks um so hopefully you know it's not going to be within this next month or next two months, but it is going to be something I'm working on, and I will keep everyone updated on my juice line uh, <clears throat> when it when it comes through, and uh, I'll let you know on progress as well. I mean, I can't obviously review my own juice, so I'm not going to be doing that. But I'm sure I've got enough reviewer friends that will uh, happily bump it in their well, review queue. That, that <laughs> depends if there's any tobacco flavors in there, mate. It's just pure tobacco. That's all it is. <laughs> tobacco and menthol. <laughs> Jay does love a tobacco flavour. Oh, uh, no, I don't. No, no tobaccos. <laughs> no tobaccos. I've got two desserts and one fruit. Ooh. Yeah, but uh, as always, obviously, when I get the line and it's all sorted out and that, um, it will obviously, um, when I send it out to all my reviewer buddies, it will always be under the understanding that they have to be 100% honest with it. Um, like I know they all will, just because they're my friends, they're not going to, um, they're my buddies. They're not going to just give me a good review and I wouldn't expect that either. Good, because I'm going to fucking go from with a fine tooth comb. <laughs> it's going to tear me a new ass. Screw you need to <laughs> make a really high VG line and put on the bottle only for use on RDAs, though. That would be sick. <laughs> 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 Chris, you're such an ass. Yeah, no. <laughs> the the flavours—they're all going to be raspberry, raspberry. <laughs> I keep imagining like turning into a pirate when you're doing it like that. <laughs> eye patch. Why are pirates know. called pirates? Because they are. <laughs> <laughs> Next stream, Vinny will be in his Johnny Depp costume. <laughs> yes, driving a tractor. We should definitely do a Halloween stream. <laughs> yes. Joe's all right. He don't need a mask. You cheeky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll pass you the Vaseline, Joe. This well, just we'll really changing the title. title. So I was, I was at a vape meet um, last week at, uh, down in Norfolk, and um, there was a guy there actually in full Jack Sparrow outfit for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> He thought it was Comic Con. God knows. It was, uh, it was, uh, sort of walk through the door of the vape shop, and the first person you meet is someone dressed as Jack Sparrow. It's a little bit like, what the. Well, if we do a Halloween special, I'll go and get that smart mother to score on it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a bit that we never got to do, isn't it? What grinds, grinds your gears on the show. We'll get to it next time. Mate, next time the list will be bigger. Yeah, it'll be it. It's all good, man. At least we have stuff for the week after as well. Um, who's hey. actually um, going to be doing on next week? Pretty Chris's, wouldn't it? Do you want to? Can I be once? I'm easy. Someone will have to tell me how to do it on Google Hangouts. Like. I know you're easy. I'll walk you through it. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I know you're easy. That's without the Vaseline, especially after a few Cronenbergs. <laughs> That's why I'm easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, I think I think that's what it would rotate to, wasn't it? It would because we done we haven't really done Jay's, but we done yours as just a random live stream, didn't we? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. Which I am glad that we did because it's got this now. 
Yeah, Cloudy Craig, dude. Obviously, you know, if you're going to review it, then I'll be happily, ha happy, happily, happy to send you out some to review. Uh, I mean, obviously, when I get it out and stuff, I'll do giveaways with it and things like that on on the channel. But I mean, that's gonna, that, that that's in the future. Um, I can't stress that enough. That's in the future. Um, but yeah, you know, when I look to people to send it out to and stuff, hundred percent. And also, Carl Van Dyke, there is already a steampunk uh, regulated mod out. It's made by Tesla. It's the Nano 120 steampunk. <clears throat> I have it right here if you want to have a clip. It's a nice mod. Right there. It's really cool. Don't pay attention to the uh, the non-cleanliness of it. I have to clean it. <laughs> but yeah, really, really awesome mod. The only thing is the door, when there's no batteries in there, just falls open. There's also the new, um, is it the steam engine? Steam man one? DNA seventy five. Okay, not saying that. That's uh, quite. It's all. Um, it's all leather. Nice. It's, uh, it's quite quite nice looking. Yeah, but that's just stamped instead. Uh, Dave, all Dave apes. Yes, they used to wear an eye patch, not because they didn't have an eye. It was because they could um, keep their night vision. Because it takes about twenty minutes to get your night vision and stuff. So yeah, that's why. Well done, dude. What, for going like into the the, the the bow of the ship and whatnot, and they go, oh, oh yeah, I can see now. Where, where's that rum? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Why is all the rum gone? So they can like, get some brasso, man. Brasso, I oh, know I need it. <laughs> Vapor me, hello. Hey, Vapor me, what's up? Right, guys, I will be back on in a bit. I need to run the shop. You need what? I need to run to the shop. Oh, wow, okay. Cool. Not my shop. I'm not going to my shop now. I've got plenty of juice. I just need to run to the local shop around here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you're getting the beers in, dude, <laughs> send me some. <laughs> yeah. I think, Nick, if you want yours, it'll take about a week to get there. It might still be cold. I don't know. <laughs> Put it in some dry yeah, I get stuck in customs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. A little okay. one, man. Chris little... needs a monster. Chris needs a monster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris been... ain't safe when he's a monster. I had um, Monster have brought out that Hydro non fizzy gear now. I tried some of that today. It was all right. Guys, give me, give me two seconds. One, two. There you go. All right. <laughs> I can't drink that monster stuff, man. Give me, give me heart. Uh, apparently, Vin, Vinny didn't get his uh, tea order in. He's gonna go and chase it up now. Yeah. Again, I had to go and make me own. <laughs> Mike, is that color changing mug? It was, yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah, that's the picture underneath it is, um, you know, at the beginning of Walking Dead, where that you get the uh, shadow of the people behind the closed doors. Yeah. Love The Walking Dead. And uh, it's got that picture yeah. on it. And then up in blood writing, it's got Michael Was it? Oh, it's back next next month, isn't it? Yeah, 23rd of October it starts Oh, back. I love it. Oh, I result of Capsule Before Expo. Um, so, Carl Van Dyke wants to know what wattage we run our mods at. I mean, this is a 0.51 build, and it's at 60 watts, man. It's cool. I know it's not going to interest many of the, uh, the mech heads out there that like their super low builds but does the job for me I, I don't find you need super low builds on mechs there you go 71.5 <laughs> and 107 I used to be obsessed with even numbers now I don't care <laughs> <laughs> that's the OCD though uh, apart from my mod, uh, my mechs and that my minikin is running on uh, 72 with the, the okay. well, at the moment, I'm using two mechs. So I don't know what the wattage is, but that's got a 0 0.08 build in it. <coughs> that one's got a 0 0.18 build in it. Don't they like equivalent to like fucking 256 watts or something like that? You can do the math. Like... <laughs> yeah. About that. Go on, man. Someone, someone work it out then. Let's see how close I was. Uh, not it. <laughs> yeah, not it. <laughs> I dealt it. I'm not it. Shane? I'm definitely not it. Not my, you, my brain's dead at this time of night. 
my, my brain just said. How many of them <laughs> have to, uh, at the minute? Right, what what um what build is it? 0.08. Right, 0.9. And how how many volts would you say your battery is? Uh, well, it states it's a 3.7. No, what do you mean it states? Do it as a 4.2. Fully Pressure charge is 4.2. Yeah. Okay. Right, so 0.08. Vinny, what were you saying? Uh, I was just curious to see how many people we had on the viewing. 20. 20 yeah. oh. 21 at the moment. Nice. Right. Gone Share. Down a little while ago, we were on 29. Share the stream, everyone. Hit the like button. <laughs> right. So it's that a not point. Okay, I went there. Let's have a look. Uh, where is it gone? I lied. And subscribe. Yeah, guys, put them links up. Go on, Nick. I'll let you do mine. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you as an admin. Yours is really long, Mike, now, until you get, like, your own custom URL. Yeah, like what you said. All right. That's Mike's. Mike, when is your first video coming out, do you reckon? Um, I'm hoping next week. Cool. I have got my um, new microphone on order. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Do you know what you're going to review? Uh, I'm actually going to do the, um, what do you call it, No Limits, No Five Flavours. Which ones are the No Five ones? Uh, you have, um, hang on, let me just get the it packet. Space Man. Car caramel Vanilla Latte. Um, mm. Slush. You have... Lime Slush. Hang on. You've got raspberry salt, raspberry ripple. Oh, that sounds nice. Strawberry and lime. That's meant to be a cider flavour, but they've took the cider out of it, so it's just like... You've got lemonade ice. Lime um, slushy. Cloudy Craig has a question as well about what editing software we all use. And caramel vanilla latte. That's the other thing I need to download. Caramel vanilla latte sounds amazing. Cloudy Craig, I run Cyberlink Power Director 15. There's a new one released, Power Director 16. I know Nick's shaking his head. We are, we're not all money bags like him with his monetization videos. Or pirate <laughs> but... yeah, I will be uh, running whatever video editing software I find for free. <laughs> Fair enough. Mike, I'll point you in the right direction, and I, I would love for you all to get on what I'm using. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. See, my, my friend actually did put that on a, a USB key for me, but I don't know whether to use it because it's a pirate copy with a key gen, and I don't want to screw this new computer up with virus software. Well, if how much do you trust your friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, put it this way, I'll get all my TV and films off of him, so... He's probably already spying on you then, so I won't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's already watching you through the webcam, not on the live stream. That's why you see some people put tape over their webcams. Well, at least in America, because in America we have the... Uh, was it Patriot Act, where it allows the government to chime in on anyone's webcams or microphones? Seriously? Yeah. The yes, government. I was going to say, we, we have a government body that does it anyway. It's just called MI5. Yeah, but <laughs> you'd know that. You'd know that they was doing it anyway because they've got to get through your firewall and all that. Like, if you haven't got the ports open, they've got to manually get in there somehow and open up the ports. Yeah, That's okay. I know they're really geeky people and that, but. <laughs> you know I think they'll probably know. find a way, dude. And but that's Mac why. Webcams have privacy screens. Da, 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 da. That's you a suck, to... mate. I was going to say, my one doesn't have that. No, not <laughs> there are lights on it. Mine just pushes stop. back up into the screen. Mine I mean, I you get, yes, I will be taking it out or buying it and not leaving it in the basket again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amazon got a really nice email from him. 
and they did. I still didn't get a reply. Okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised, man. You've probably got banned. <laughs> no, well, the microphone's coming from Amazon. You're probably on some sort of Amazon list. <laughs> More than likely. Dave says uh, he's running. Uh, it's all the vaping bikers' fault. He rocks 33.3, 44.4, 55.5. 66.6. That's the best one. Ask Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I've never worried about wedge. I just run it at whatever I need to get the coil going. Right, so a point, a 0 0.8 at 4.2 is 220 watts for a 52 amp draw. Wow. Jesus. 52 amps. And that's on the purge skull mod. Guys, just quick disclaimer: we don't recommend doing it. <laughs> don't oh, copy yeah. more builds for fuck's <laughs> sake. That'll be that'll be fifty-two amps constant draw, though, not pulse. Oh. Yeah. Who is it? I was uh, reading Mooch. I believe it was Mooch. I could be wrong. I think it was Mooch, and he said that a pulse doesn't actually exist. You shouldn't ever build to a pulse rating. It should always be built to a a, a continuous rating. Yep, that is true. Um, and that's, uh, I think I, I think I'm eighty percent sure that was from Mooch, uh, Mooch's post. Explain this then. So, going a little bit off topic, but it is battery related. So, when you're in your car and you crank your car, that when you first start that up, that is a pulse. That's a surge. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Because you're not, it's not like, like for argument's sake, you can put a, a, a light on there, hold it all the time, that's constant. Pulse, you can burst it. So basically what it is, when the battery's fully charged, you've got, it's got the amps there. They're there, stored, waiting to be used. So you can pulse it more than what it's capable of doing. That's all it's pretty much saying. Which is not advisable. I don't condone anything like that on there. I wonder what Chris has gone out to buy from the shop. I'm assuming it's probably Monster. Be guaranteed it's Electric, Monster. I think. <laughs> Should we take bets? No. <laughs> the, uh, I can't believe it's not Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to get electricity. <laughs> Mooch runs lower than 0 0.1, but he won't admit it. I think everyone does. Yeah. Technically, the lowest, yeah. the lowest safe build on a single 18650 with a 30 amp limit is 0.14. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I'm not safe then. The lowest. <laughs> so Mitch says the lowest he builds is 0 0.08 on a triple parallel. Yeah, but triple parallel is completely safe. Even dual parallel is completely safe. But with the invention of the 2700 battery, they can you can go down to 0 0.05, I believe, and still be safe on a single battery. Oh, got to get me a big battery mod that make now. Dude, just get a drill and drill out some of the inside of one of your mechs. <laughs> <laughs> it just ends up with a, a hollow tube. <laughs> Oops. Just going to double check this one. I wouldn't like to do that. I was pretty happy when I got my ohm reader in from, uh, what is it, Geek Vape? Oh, I, I like having one. an ohm reader. Yep, well, my ohm reader was just told me it's a 0 0.082. 0 0.08 is safe in quick bursts. Yeah, but before, before, when I actually um, pulsed it to get the coils going even, it was registering at 0 0.043. I think we're going to get another guest in here. Who well, we got? We, nope. Nope. The only person that has sent <laughs> over a message to the Facebook page, and it is Kat. Yeah, she's getting an invite. <laughs> she's still Let's around? Mark. Well, Mike. Yes, Mike. Can I ask, why why do you feel 
the need to run a build at 0 0.08? To be perfectly honest, these were coils that were sent to me, well, that I, pur I purchased, <laughs> that are pre-made by um, biohazard coils. And right. they're, they're uh, raffle wire uh, aliens, I believe, or frame staples, one or the other. So they're, they're what I've got sent. I'm used to vaping this low anyway. Yeah. Um, I find, personally, I get more flavour out of builds like this. I don't give a damn how big or small the clouds are. I want flavour all the time. And out of all the coils I've used, this sort of build is what gives me the flavour that I personally want. Fair enough. Right, Shane. So, I mean... Yeah. I mean Sorry, Jay. Uh, don't get me wrong, Shane. I do not tell people to oh, no, do no. builds like I do. I'm, yeah. Quite often, I tell them don't even think about it. Mm. But as Jay's, it's not really an excuse because I know I'm an experienced vapor. I know what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm still taking the risk for myself. Yeah. You need a big disclaimer on your channel, Mike. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, when, when it, and when it needs to last to every doing build videos and things like that, I will only do sensible build videos. Yeah, Nick. I do sensible builds for the most part. You like the This is the lowest one I've done, and it's point oh eight. And I, I hit this thing like thirty times a day. I've been ripping on it for this show, but I just like the flavor. Right, Shane. So, what what builds are you running at, and why? Um, in my broadside, I'm running a. It's at, it's a zero point one at the minute. Um, just because I was trying out some new um, wire. Um, but generally, um, in my Mex, I use a, around about zero point one two to point one four. Um, with a, a 2736 gauge nichrome aliens, um, I, I just find the flavors better off those, um, in a mech for me. Um, and then other, other devices, it's normally sort of around the point two mark on regulated. So, like, what's like the ramp up time on them on the nichrome aliens or whatever you was using? Um, well, see that that's what that's not what I like there. See, you might if you think his was low, mine's low. Like, this is what I use on most streams, and this is a 0 0.074. It's fucking super low. I don't condone it, so don't. I just do it just because I like the hit off of it. <clears throat> it's a nice hot bait. I think you should pay penance and drip some of the salt on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if everyone wants to see Jay... No, uh, no, no. no, no. <laughs> How about Nick, Nick salt? Everyone, everyone, one of them 50 one. MG pods, and then you drip that. What? Like this? No, yeah. Crack open the 50 MG pod and drip the juice out of the 50 MG onto your dripper. Uh, that's like one drip. <laughs> Wicked <laughs> See, with mine, I like it. Like it's flat sixty, uh, but I just like the, the ramp up time. Just so it's there. I love it. It's just so quick. There's no dead, no, no dead time, or whatever you, like you want to call that before it ramps up. I mean, no, my, I get my that. aliens. I are get that on the Aspire. The right. aliens. <laughs> The aliens that I normally normally use in my mechs do ramp up pretty much instant. Um, but I'm trying some uh, Nicro 90 um, in it at the minute. Nice. Is that mad rabbit? Um, no, no, I get all my wire from Crazy Wire. Okay. Um, but, um... but it's the... I've got... Uh, Dave wants to see you do it, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Dave, but screw you. <laughs> oh, you just lost a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> In a nice way. 
<laughs> the good way, the good screw. <laughs> so, Kat, if you're there, I did send you a request in Hangout. So if you log into your Hangout, she'll have a thing there to join us. X11. <laughs> All day eight to put an X1, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Kiss my backside, a lot of you. <laughs> Nick's the one. He's got... He's literally got 50 MG sitting in his pods. All he needs to do is break open one of them little pods and drip it on his dripper. Oh, screw that. Let me build like a three ohm coil real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you've got to do it on that naughty build that you've done the other week. <laughs> naughty build. <laughs> that was naughty. A bit, a bit. I told, I put a I big like warning. It, I don't care. I, I was really worried about that video. I was worried it was going to get a lot of hate because of that. But, you know, there's only so much I can do. It's kind of out of my control. They sent me a product. I wanted to look at it, and that was the way that I saw fit to build, you know? Right, then. But you ain't got to explain, mate. You've done no, it. I know, I know. Fuck the haters. Sorry to say it. Well, I'm not well, actually, but fuck the haters. Uh, Nick, how are you feeling about the um, the mesh RDA? Um, it's a bit spitty, <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty enjoyable. Is it flavor? Um, is it cloud? Mm, flavor's pretty good on it. Clouds are pretty good on it. It's like kind of like middle of the road. I wouldn't say it's the greatest thing in the world, but... Is it where vaping's going? Uh, RDAs are heading. Is it going to be, you know... Is that where we're the direction where we're heading? I highly doubt it. it I think it's a passing. I think it's a thing. fad. Yeah, but it's, it's cool. Fad. It's cool. I and well, it opens up a new dimension the on, too. The deck on that mesh RDA does look quite interesting for putting big, like a, a nice big single coil in. Squonking, mm. I think, would be the best application for that. You see with that mesh thing, like they should have done something and put a little like they've got mesh. They should have made a like a mesh screen on the drip tip or something like that to stop the spit ups. Anti spit back. Chris loves it. He absolutely loves that mesh RDA. Who's it by again? Was it Vandy Vape? Vandy Vape. It's a clean, yeah. it's a clean build deck that I like. It's not like obtrusive. It doesn't have a bunch of stuff in the way, and it's just wide open. There's so much potential and possibility mm -hmm. with that one. My mesh is coming this week. Foxhound says it's a lot of fun, but it's I don't think it's like completely revolutionary, like amazing. I still have to review it. Huh. Uh, Macca's rebranded the Friday uh, Fresh Bill Friday to the Naughty Bill Friday. <laughs> I should do that whenever I do a, a below point one. I did one before. It was called Safe Build Friday on the Noisy Cricket, and I built it at a point four five. Message you on my hangout through a different email. Sent back to you. You messaged me on the Hangout, so now you're talking. One, one second. Yeah, Jen's lucky. She knows a bunch of Instagram vape famous like Instagram builders that just build her coils for her, like M Turk and Twisted Messes. <laughs> Squidude. 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 Copyright. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> But does he have the trademark? <laughs> no, I think copyright law. Well, you could trademark a name. Yeah, but copyright has to do with uh, like intellectual property, like uh, this stream here. If anyone takes this stream and puts it on their channel or something, then uh, that's copyright law. Trademark would, law is like names. Would they want to, though? <laughs> Cat, I don't right. Cat, she said, message you on my hangouts. Runs through a different email. Sent that to you. 
Oh. Boom. Yo, kido, the dry kido. hits hurt. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, Cole, um, when we was doing a live stream on Nick's channel, I had a dry hit. First dry hit I had in ages, and oh, I was, I was in agony. I was trying not to let it show. <laughs> did, it, did, it, did it feel like vaping shards of glass? I don't know. It felt like I had sand in me. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh. That's why I use fiber freak because I'm wicked. Very rarely get a dry hit off of that. Uh, you guys, I have, feel have you sorry. Played, you ever played dry hit roulette? What? Dry no, hit roulette? You never played it? <laughs> no. That can't be a real thing. Mate, when I'm on my streams and there's a load of us, we'll have a game of dry hit roulette. There's a couple of streams on my Facebook. The one from Vape Fest. If you go on my Facebook page, have a look. It's the Vape Fest one. We've done dry hit roulette on that. On a base mod as well. You guys are crazy. You <laughs> wouldn't want to do that with that mesh out of me. Oh, yeah. The, the dry hits on dry the mesh. Hit, dry hits off mesh is brutal. I had a guy at work, he's shown me, he bought a mesh one, it's not the Vandivate one though, it's another one, and it's vertical, like, it's fucking massive. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cthulhu? The what? Cthulhu? That's the one. I don't know, like, in the, in the RDA cap, like, holes, it looks a bit like a Velocity style cap on there. It's got all holes around it, anyway. Are the posts like a clamp, upright clamp? Yeah, upright clamps, yeah. Fucking massive they are. Yes, yeah, that's a Cthulhu one. He, f he says when he can like when he wicks it all up and all that, and he puts his juice in, he says it can hold about eight or nine mil of juice in that cotton. That's one shitty thing about the uh, dry uh, the Vandy vape mesh is wicking it is such a pain in balls. Yeah, man. If we had that, well, over here, if someone goes out buys that buys just one ten mil bottle of juice. <laughs> They're gonna have to have a second bottle just to actually vape with it. Just yeah. And that's what I don't get about the TPD. It's like, damn, you can oh, only get sense, man. ten mils. Ten mils I go through in about a couple hours. Yeah, but that's with Nick. So if you want to do it with yeah. Nick, you can... that's with Nick. It's in you. Yeah, you can get bigger bottles without Nick. But it's just so stupid because you get around it so easily. Yeah. Well. Ugh. I mean, you can still go to a lot of places and buy the 72 milligram nicotine anyway. Yeah, which were, they, were, they said they was meant to be knocking that on the head, but obviously... But, well, they have done in a way. Um, oh, yeah, because you can you only can sell only it if you've got a pharmaceutical license. Or if you own a farm. <laughs> RDA. <laughs> Before, some, before, before Mike jumps in with the uh, tractor thing. Make <laughs> <laughs> a brand new combine harvester. I give you the key. Combine harvester. We can read. We can read. We can drive a tractor. Yeah, Cloudy Craig, man. Uh, we can do a shout out for your um, Instagram page, dude. Go on. We've got to tell us what it is first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? Trading nice. standards have been fire, uh, finding stores in East Sussex for selling Nick Shop bottles. No yeah, way. That's fully, that, that's fully <laughs> compliant, though. 18 milligrams, 10 mil bottle, fully TCP it's only compliant. If they've got, it's only compliant if they've been registered. Yeah, obviously, the, the Nick Shop bottle has, uh, like any nicotine containing any liquid, has got to be registered in that. Yeah, exactly. But it's, you don't know. They can't. They can't find them for that though. Could have they made their own and not registered it? Yeah, Possibly. probably. They've got a bottle. Right. Here we go. Hundred mil of seventy-two. Let's dilute yeah, this. It's shit. not. It's not hard to make a batch of it, is it? I went out and bought loads of seventy-two milligram before the TPD, and then I found out I can still buy it. <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of people done that, Shane. I think about it. four. I've got four liters, about four liters in the freezer. Yeah, I know. There are people that have done that. So, so if you want nicotine, hit chain up. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, the price has gone up though since the TPD. That's for sure. So theoretically, out of one hundred mil bottle, seventy-two mg, to get it to eighteen, you can get four hundred mil out of it. 
There's a lot wow. of 10 mil bottles, isn't it? Foxhound says, just for selling Nick shots, you know, even if they are TPD. Seems a bit counterproductive. Well, I don't know. I'm There's got to be something else behind that. Yeah, it can't be clear cut. Um, I, don't yeah. think, I don't think vape shops are allowed to tell you to put the Nick shot in a big bottle. I think it's against TPD to do that. I don't think they can advise you to do it. It's also against TPD for the pe the staff behind the counter to actually put the Nick shot in the bottle for you. Yeah. Yeah. They can be done for that. But the best the, person to ask is Chris when he goes back. Yeah. But I know they're allowed to. Well, around my way, they do whether they're allowed to or not. But they instruct people how to add the Nick shot. Yeah, I don't know if they're allowed to do that. Mm. Well, come on, guys. It's fucking clear cut, isn't it? Empty a 10 mil bottle into the 10 mil space that's left in the with yeah. 50 mil of juice and give it a shake. Well, you'd be surprised because yeah. I came over there. I had no idea. Really, I, I heard of Nick shots before, but I really didn't know what they were or what they look like or but we, you know, anything. We, we really know that you're blonde. <laughs> the beard <laughs> says otherwise. <laughs> just, just for men. <laughs> Just well, I think. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I heard on the interrupt. Um, yeah, if anyone's on Instagram, head over and follow Cloudy Craig. Is it one that word? Is his Instagram. Um, sure. Going back to the, going back to the um, TPD. I heard on the news uh, a couple of weeks ago while I was driving that. Once Brexit happens, um, the government's on about looking at the TPD again and removing the 10 mil bottle protocol and taking it to 30 mil. But I don't, because the law's been set, like maybe amendments can be made, but you can't like reverse the thing because it's sort of in situ. Yeah, but when, when Brexit happens, we're not going to be the EU. Yeah, but the law's already been laid down. You can't change the laws that have already been made. Mm. You can only change, like, you. well, you don't change the, uh, like, the future laws. Basically, we're not governed by Brussels that set the laws down. Like, we'll be our own entity and we'll create our own laws. But you can't, you can yeah. only, um, maybe, yeah, you might get away with it because you can amend... Bills yeah. and laws and shit that's been put in, they can be amended, but yeah, to what degree? Because the, the TRPR is actually ours in a sense, yeah. That, that's what governs us as TRPR as well as the TPD because we're still in Europe, yeah. Collectively, we're still, yes, that, yeah. we're still under that umbrella of Europe, but then under that umbrella, we have the TRPR, so the TPD does affect us. But then we have our own little things, so they can adjust the TRPR when we leave. So uh, within the TRPR, is it still the ten mil conformity thing? You know, like yeah, because I think that is is that not the TRPR in itself, or is that the two mil? Because I know in Europe, I think you can still get either more than ten mil juice or a bigger uh, a bigger tank. I can't remember which one it is, but I know the UK um, adjusted it where we're. We've got that as well. <clears throat> if we're putting our in uh, yeah, Maca Vapes, Maca underscore vapes at Instagram. Can you put the if anyone symbol? wants to follow? Yeah, at if anyone wants Craig. to follow my uh, follow my coils Instagram, it's at wise underscore vapor eighty one. Oh you could have made it simple. <laughs> <laughs> was big boy coils not available <laughs> at, at the time when i started the instagram um i hadn't started selling the coils um i was just doing it for pleasure what was it at what at wise underscore vapor 81 we have a uh, foxhound elite Foxhound three L one two three. He is leet, leet <laughs> as fuck. Um, Jendai, yeah, Jendai. To be honest, I, 
I think because we still have the shake and vape, um, I would actually probably, out of the two, opt for bigger tanks. I mean, I know there's ways around it with the uh, Calito 120 and the XO and such like that. But yeah, I'd probably opt for. Um, Shane, what was your end uh, At wise underscore vapor one That's the one. Right, guys, anybody in the stream that is a comment in their Instagram, do me a favor, follow at LVC Shack and I'll follow you back. It'll be easier that way. If we're dropping Instagrams, mine is at Sir Vaping a lot. Oil <laughs> porn. If you don't already Go follow me, it's Daily Vape TV. Oh, let me go and check. What, what, one second, can you say that again? Because I didn't get that. <laughs> Daily Vape TV, all one word. There you go. Uh, well, uh, there'll be a nice new coil porn series going on there in the next few days when I get the pictures taken. Got to get yourself a nice macro lens. Oh, I've uh, got one. I've got a. I've got a, a Canon. A Canon DSLR with a macro lens. <laughs> Someone's choking up in the background. <laughs> was that another boy, yeah, boy that, big... No, I think that was my other half coughing. <laughs> Any questions in chat, guys? Or is everyone just relaxing and chilling? Chillaxing? If, anybody else, do... if anybody else wants to get in on the stream, go to Facebook l-v-c page message me your hangouts email and i'll add you in you can jump on the stream right what to vape oh i don't know um mm. some of that bear juice yeah oh. have you reviewed it yet i still no, have to review I, bear juice. I can't vape anymore i won't have <laughs> I didn't even get any. Oh, that's surprising. I'll have to hit up Tom. You'd be like, Tom, bro, where's it at? <laughs> oh, I'm going to hit something up from the legends, I reckon. Oh, what dude, uh, Cute and Buff. Who? Cute and Buff is the one that looks like Groot. It's my favorite. Mm. <laughs> what you Showed oh, show off then, showed off. It's milk and nutty honey. It's beautiful. Oh, bullshit. One minute. <laughs> right. Beautiful. It sounds like Gordon Ramsay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like <laughs> Where's the token scouser? <laughs> uh, Chris, is, um, Chris from Empire Vapes gone out to the shop to possibly buy a monster. To purchase monster. <laughs> Do you know Don't how much you... they retail these on their site for? How much? About three hundred and fifty dollars. No way. <laughs> I swear to God, go and have a look. Why are you on the stream now? Go and have a look. I got mine over there, but I can't get it out because it's behind a load of stuff. So I'm, I'm, like, I'm too lazy. <laughs> but um, I was actually talking to the creator of them, the mixologist, and they're thinking about when they have. Another 20 flavors. They're thinking about doing like a gold limited edition box. And he said he'd drop one to me, which I will be over the moon about. But um, Evan, his name is man. He's a really, really good mixologist. What, what one are you vaping, Jay? I'm going to try that one. Yeah, $349 that box is. Jesus. Oh, Does anyone want to buy a legend box? <laughs> Split it. <laughs> Kindly donate it for the purposes of review. Oh, excuse me. Have uh, uh, any of you guys go tried? Um... Go on. Yeah, sorry, Jen. Um, Jen Dyer. Uh, I know smkd.com sells legends. They sell the legends range. Smkd.com. There you go. I just posted my uh, PayPal link in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> What's that for? Is that the get the get Nick over here fun for Expo? 
<laughs> oh, that's a whole other thing. Oh, I haven't tried this one yet, you know, Vinny. It was still sealed. Dude, it is the best. Do you know if I ruin my coil and my cotton, yeah? I'm not going to be too impressed. You read the description. What do you want me to say? I said it's my favourite. doesn't mean taste is subjective. Well, I know Jay. that. <laughs> is, uh, we need to get Panda. Uh, Jen in chat uh, owns a line called Fat Panda. P-H-A-T Panda. Um, we need to get her TPD compliant because I think you guys would like her stuff. Actually, I vaped some of it at the London Vape Show. I had twerking berries. Oh, is uh, that the one with the little panda face on? Um, not the one I'm vaping right now. I think, did I, do I still have it in my bag? Yeah, actually, right here. Boom. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. No, it's not the one I was thinking of. It's nice, though. Passion fruit. 100%. I love passion fruit. Yeah, this is uh, that passion. It's passion fruit mojito. Oh, sounds refreshing. Oh, it's so good. Have um, any of you guys tried the uh, juice line from Ice Cream Man? Yes, I've got some here, actually. Long time ago. I didn't try the cookies and milk. Oh, sounds nice. The strawberry one was lovely, though. <laughs> Do you know Vape Delights do a really nice dessert range? Just thinking about that, Vape Delights. And they've got a new range coming out as well, actually. Mm. A new line of juices. Um, but I was really impressed with the majority of their flavors. I think out of the five, they're Danish, like they're Danish swirl. Oh, Danish swirl. The, the Danish swirl is in the morning, first vape with a cup of coffee, it's to die for. It's really nice. And the uh, maple glaze, Danish swirl and maple glaze were my two favorites out of their range. Mecca wants to know what's the clo one close to the t shirt rag bottom shelf? I'll take that. <laughs> I don't think so, mate. <laughs> you know what that is? That's Island Man. <laughs> I have his phone number. I still haven't hit him up about it, though. <laughs> I haven't hit him up neither, actually, saying that. Um, the Thingy Boys did. Spin Your Dripper Boys did, I think. Yep. Um, They're besties. A smooth, creamy peanut butter paired with marshmallow, graham cracker. Oh, why is everything graham cracker out of America? Graham cracker topped with vanilla whipped cream. This decadent dessert flavor will be sure to satisfy any sweet tooth. Why? What do you call graham crackers? Biscuits. I have graham crackers, digestive biscuits. Don't yeah, you? digestives, yeah. Really? That's the nearest thing to a graham cracker. Well, you guys have custard. We don't really have custard over here. What do really? you have? Pudding. What do you mean pudding? Custard goes on your pudding. No, but pudding is different, though. Pudding is different for us, too. Pudding is custard. And wait, no, wait. So you guys, uh, pudding is like... It's another know, word for dessert. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pudding. Like a, a, a jam sponge or a treacle sponge. <laughs> Anything that you have after dinner, which is classed as the dessert, we can call anything it is pudding. Okay. So okay, but can you call a cheese board that some people have, can you call a cheese board pudding? No, because it's not a dessert. Uh, nope. You can have it after your meal. Yeah, so but technically... I said no, no, you can't. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm a chef. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'm a chef as well. <laughs> no, to, to me, a cheese board comes after dessert. Yeah, before your coffee and your little chocolate. Yeah, you always find it strange. I mean, I like a nice cheese board, but to have it after your meal or after your dessert, I find that really strange. I normally have the cheese board as a starter. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't do prawn cocktail and... I don't like prawn cocktail. I don't really eat cold prawns. No. All that malarkey. No. I never get soup as a starter either. I just don't see the point. Right, Mitch, what did you say about the Hangout? So if you want to get in on the stream and join us, be a part of the stream, be in one of the little boxes and people can see you, drop me a message on LVC page on Facebook, L-V-C page. 
drop your email there in a pro in a message to the page. Just and I'll put it in the in. put it in the the chat, Jay. It link. won't let me. It won't let me share the link to Facebook in the chat. Um, what? Facebook not part of Google. No. <laughs> Facebook. You've had a couple messages already, Jay. Jay, I've oh. got to ask you: when you say oh, yeah. dash, do you mean hyphen? hyphen? Yeah, you dash, mean hyphen. hyphen. Same thing, man. Yeah. Uh, There's no language barrier there. No I know, always say the same country. How about that? I thought I thought I always assumed dash was um like back backslash sort of thing. No, because you've just said yeah, what that is. Forward slash or backslash. They're strokes. Yeah, but I always assume it. Yeah, so Gareth the um says, do you guys all like Mikhail in RTA? I have got one on the way after hearing good things about it. What are your thoughts? For me, the Kylin is a bloody good RTA. Maka, that's a forward slash you've done there, mate. That's not a dash. <laughs> Thank you, Maka Vapes. I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> you bean <it. laughs> Get it sorted, gentlemen. Uh, Cat, I did actually send you... I sent you an invite. Oh, <laughs> sugar. <laughs> I sent you an invite on both of them email addresses. But what you've got to do, you've got to go onto Google, like the homepage Google, so you're signed in on your Google account. Next to it is like the Google Apps. Click on that, then show more, and then Hangouts is at the bottom. Why or you go to the share? URL and just go um, hangouts.google.com, and it'll bring up your Hangouts page, and you should have a request there when it loads up. I've just sent Mitch one. Jendai wants we're gonna get a lot of people on the stream. Jendai wants to know, would you suggest a Kylin for a first RTA? Yes, I would. I would. Such a yeah, easy to build on thing to build. And it's so forgiving under the wicking. A lot of RTAs is hard to get the wicking right. But the Kylin, as long as you don't put too much in, you can't go wrong. I think did I do a build video on the Kylan? I can't even remember. I think I did. New I've, idea. I've seen people doing build videos of doing a triple coil in a Kylan. That's just crazy. It's unnecessary. It's not necessary because you get plenty of flavor through that from the Kylan anyway. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, if you want even more flavor, just close the airflow a little bit. Yeah, the only know. other... The only the only other RTA I found that comes close to the Kylin is the uh, P324. I've not tried that. that one yet. Right, look, I'm just going to do a little free. Really, really nice. It says hey. a commenter. Hey, uh, there's the link. Anyone who wants to join, just click that link. It'll bring you in. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can fill the page up with little boxes. <laughs> yeah. well, I've, I've, I've got to go to the... <laughs> I'm going to the little, little boy's room. I'll be right back. You gotta go to the John. What's up, Mitch? What's going on, Mitch? What's up, guys? There we go. You're in. It wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me enter for a minute there. <laughs> oh, what's up, hey, guys? We've got Dan as well. So, right, let me just <laughs> this thing here. Right, so, Mitch, as you join first, I'm going to present you. You're live on the stream. Tell everybody who you are and what you're vaping okay. on. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, my <laughs> bad. Right. Stop presenting. There we go. Right, take it away, Mitch. Uh, my name is Mitch Green, and I am a vape addict. And, uh... I'm vaping on an alien with a goon. I got a Camelot exclusive reserve in that. I got uh, the Inikin Oceanus with the Creus RDTA, and in there I have Strawberry Killer Custard mixed with uh, Joe Turner's Royal Vape Products Creamy Custard. And. Uh, Got the uh, VT inbox 75 from the uh, Evolve. Nice, that's nice. And there I have. Uh, what'd you say? That's nice. I like the look of that. I like the look of that. Yeah, and there I have uh, Elite Pudding Pounder from uh, Brian of uh, TVC. 
I mean, I could go on for days, man, but I'll pass it on. Dude, I just love your setup. It's fucking awesome. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I just, I am like addicted to vaping. Ever since I quit smoking cigarettes, man, I'm just like, I mean, I, I got an admiral here with uh, the Pulse 24. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm loving the 2700s, man. Ever since 2700s <laughs> came out, it, it got me back into mech mods. Mate, I'm loving your setup. It's excellent. That's great. <laughs> Do me a little favor, though. Can you just turn your, your speakers down just a fraction? We're getting a little touch of echo back there. Yeah, I got that's, it. That's great. Nice one. So next we are going to have Dan. It's your right, turn, mate. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm Fox and Lee. Um just recently started YouTube and since the London Vape Show, so all new to this. I'm currently on the um, Tesla Sig Nano 120 with an icon top, just about rewick and put some uh, double drip on it. Uh, raspberry uh, show, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> I do like that. Uh, and uh, I do have a Tesla Sig with my uh, Kylin, but uh, not doing that tonight. <laughs> nice, nice. Well. Welcome to the stream, and then next we have Kat, it's your turn, take it away. I, uh, I just have um, Rugby Vapors on Facebook, um, and tonight I'm running my Minikin and my Clito with um, the new Vapor Thrones from Ultimate Juice, uh, Raven's Wrath. I've also got... Number two, Savage Mongrel. Oh, and with, it's the hobbies. That's, that's with mine. Coils in it. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. I I do like the mongrel. Love it, love it. I've got four myself, and the hobby has sixteen now. Oh, oh my god, days. Who's your Who's your husband? Stephen Whitlock. Stephen oh. Whitlock. Oh my gosh. All them mongrels, mate. A cleaning jig at Expo. He sold you a cleaning jig at Expo. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember. We're both at Expo again in October. Yeah, I spoke to Slim the other day. Because um, obviously I was meant to get a custom, but I, sw I traded the custom for my number three pure line. Oh, you can't see. One second. But. Yeah. I just love it. It's amazing. It really is. Who makes yeah. the mongrel? Uh, Smog, Smog mods. Smog mods. In the UK, all UK sourced materials, um, everything is all designed and engineered. Everything's in the UK, and it's affordable. It's just, but it's a hard in mod for what it is. I mean, like I say it all the time. I've got an able up here. Like this, this probably with with the RDA that. That I had on top, it probably set me back about two and a half, three hundred quid. That's just on the shelf. I don't even use it anymore. You know, I just love them. Like the mongrels are just really good bits of kit. I've got the mark. I've got the V2, and I've got Ali. I've got a copper one, and I've got the brass one. <laughs> like I just love them. They're they're just brilliant bits of kit. I've just put the link in for the website on there, Nick, for you. Nick, you've got to try one, and and with this, the new piston switch, I like it. It's 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 really like aesthetically pleasing. It's not really nice to look at compared to the other one, but also they're doing custom edge buttons on the bottom. I think eventually. I believe. Sorry, guys, just to interrupt. Cole yep. Van Dyke wanted to ask a question about the Smoant Smoant Shamron or Sharon Sharon. Sharon. If anyone's got any opinions or views on it, if anyone's used it, I've heard Hello. nothing but good things about it. But personally, I've never used one. Mike, I've got one on the way as one to come in the mail. <laughs> Mike, Mike, do me a favor. Post that link again, but put HTTP double colon forward slash forward slash at the beginning, and it'll be a clickable link. Right. Right. So, who wants to take it now? Go on. I got a question for Nick. Uh, are you making your own RDA? <laughs> um, well, let's just say I've had the opportunity to. However, I, I still don't know how I feel about 
you know, coming out with a new product after August 8th, and, you know, there's all that whole thing going on. Um, I was considering maybe possibly doing something for the UK market, to be honest with you. Um, I would love to be able to do that. But as far as the states are concerned, it is illegal, and I doubt there's a way around it. Not that China even cares, but... I don't know. Andy Vape does not care whatsoever. They've actually approached me and they said, do you want to do something? And I'm just kind of like, eh, just send me what you got and I'll take a look at it. But, you know, if it, if I ever come out with something, it's probably going to be through Vandy Vape. I will say that. Um, just because they're, they're actually like a really good company. They're easy to work with when it comes to being a reviewer. And... They come out with some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, but as far do. as right now, I have I have nothing in the works. Uh, absolutely nothing um, in the works. Say that. <laughs> okay. If if you could, what kind of RDA do you think you would like? Single coil, dual coil, triple coil. Um, for me, it would have to be what I vape or want out of an RDA. Right. Like that's bottom line is that's what I would want and I it would be a dual coil it would probably be like a either a two post or a postless deck probably bottom airflow um squonk pin uh yeah I mean nowadays if you don't throw a squonk pin in you're like the worst human being ever <laughs> Because Americans, I don't know, the Americans love squonking. Squonking is kind of foreign to the uh, the UK market. It's kind of like just... Eh. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there here. It's getting more popular. I'm looking forward to finding so over here that it's more, uh, it's more high-end market at the minute. Still. But I blame Vandy Vape for the, <laughs> the love of squonking. Carl uh, <laughs> uh, Van Dyke just said something. He goes, all four of us should do a, a collaboration with it and call it the pirate rate RDA. <laughs> <laughs> the pirate RDA. R rate RDA. God, I, I want Vinny to come out with his own RDA now. Okay. Oh, this is going to be R hyphen D hyphen A. It's just going to R D A. Actually, double R. Add the extra R on it. <laughs> So, and Michael Vapes, okay, so I have a question. If you all had one mod and one RDA, RTDA, a tank and juice for life, and you can't have anything else, what would it be and why? So, okay, we're going to – we'll answer this one at a time. So, Vinny, you're up first, mate. <laughs> I knew it again. I don't put my hand up. I get chosen first. <laughs> um, I would choose the Hex Ohm 3.0. With the currently with the Rapture RDA, but I'm gonna get an MFG. I love that RDA, beautiful with flavor. You can get epic clouds out of it. The build deck, the um, drop down clamps is <laughs> revolutionary. You know, it's something I always said that the goon should do, or um, you know, some way of making the clamp system even better. And the Hexone V3, just or 3.0, is just such an awesome, awesome piece of hardware you know i love i love my hexone 3.0 and the clicky button okay so <laughs> next we're gonna go to shane um i'd probably say i'd agree with vinnie um with the rda that that rapture it's it's epic it really is an epic rda um and mod wise um probably my rebel vapes um, DNA 166. Nice. And then next up, oh, we have one second. Where, oh, shit. Bear with me. So, Nick, you're up next. Um, well, we've covered this topic before, but uh, I'm going to go with my Hexome V3 just because <laughs> it's warrantied through the states which is great um if you ever have problems with it or anything you can contact the company and they're, they're very responsive uh you know getting back to you uh, as far as the rda is concerned i absolutely love the kennedy 25 millimeter that's pretty much my my ride or die rda let's trust 
trusty. Um, I could use it every single day and not be mad about it. And I know it's just going to keep on hitting. And wait, were we doing juice too? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Hate to say it, but I'm going to choose my own here. Um, I think I said Cali Vapor's Devil's Punch Bowl in the last one. So, I mean, that one is really, really good. But honestly, I just changed you so often that it's kind of hard for me to answer that that question. But, I mean, when it comes down to it, I can always vape my own stuff. Laz is just so amazing that I just can never get sick of it. But Cali Vapor's flavor-wise, as far as more my type of flavor, is just like more me. It's a peach guava pear, uh, which is the, the Devil's Punch Bowl. Peach guava pear, man. So good. Nice, nice. So next we have Mitch. Go on, take it away, mate. Did he say uh, RTAs as well or just any, RDA? Yeah, any, anything. Uh, RDA, a tank, RTA, whatever. Uh, I would pick uh, the Minikin V2 because of the battery life. And uh, I'm a single coil guy, so I'll pick the SMM by Watofo and Matt. And uh, as for juice, I would say a Door E Liquid Simple Apple Roll. It, my old favorite was the Caramel Apple Crisp, but this uh, definitely overtakes that. Okay, lovely. Maca Vapes, why did you spoil it for everyone? <laughs> I'm going to change it up now. Uh, no, what we got next? Uh, Mike, it's over to you. For me, I would have to say it is going to be... Ali Mongrel? Yep, Ali Mongrel, <laughs> the one that I'm not using at the moment. And it would have to be with my Twisted Message 24 with the gold-plated deck. Uh, Old Faithful RDA, can't beat it. The flavour, it's a cloudy one as well. And for juice, it would still have to be Blue Slash. Nice, nice. Cannot beat a decent blue slush. And then next we have Pat. It's over to you. I would say my mongrel with an apocalypse and the vape throws Raven, Raven's Wrath. It's phenomenal. It's uh, raspberry and custard. Ooh, that sounds nice. I'm going to have to... Hit ultimate juice up when I get over there at the expo. Nice. So, Dan. Are those all the old labels? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, look. Oh, Hazy Cust. Do you have an apple? Do you have a, a sinful roll in there? From I don't. I don't. I have caramel apple crisp. Right. Nice. Right. Yep. Dan, it's over to you. All right, okay. So, um, I mean, I, I haven't got it yet. I've had a hold of it. I had to mess around with one. Um, uh, one uh, the LMC, the Limitless Box. Um, I'd probably go for one of those. And I like my icon quite a lot. So I'd probably sit with the icon. Easy to build on. Great flavor. And, yeah, I get plenty of that. And that's like, I'd probably stick with what I know. Juice wise. Can't go wrong with a bit of raspberry sherbet. <laughs> nice, nice. It sounds like we've got a grizzly bear in the stream. <laughs> right. So for me, you probably already know. Mac has already spoiled it. I am gonna go for it. now. I'm gonna change it up. It's not the Ali Mongrel now. Now it's gonna be the Pure Line from Mongrel. Um, with I'd say Apocalypse. I love the Apocalypse. I don't know why. It's just great. I just love. I just love the look of it. The the airflow's off decent. In fact, the airflow's more than off decent. The airflow's good on it. I like it. Even though it's just a simple two holes with the teardrop thing going on in there. <laughs> I don't actually use the teardrop thing. I just fully open as aerated as possible. Um, and yeah, it's gonna have to be loaded. Glazed donuts, damn right. I just love it. I, although I haven't vaped on it in such a long time because I've been doing the review stuff, but I still love it. It's just so nice. it's really good. It's really good. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, 
<laughs> Guys, I'm probably going to have to take my leave, I'm afraid. <laughs> I will uh, I will drop my link once more in the chat. If you want to head over and subscribe, that would be epic and awesome. It was lovely talking to uh, Shane, Kat, and Dan as well, yeah. as well as everyone in chat that joined us from Nick's page from the super awesome vape show and um, until next week guys I'll be doing a live show on my own channel tomorrow where I will looking to invite uh, one of my subscribers in so if you want to jump on that more than welcome so until next time guys I will see you there peace Vinny, quick. <laughs> just quickly mate. Brasso, mate yeah one yeah, yeah. that's a five quid in Tesco's <laughs> Yeah, I love the smell. I love the smell of a nice box. So, but yeah. I'll have guys. so from me, so Vaven Lock, peace. Nice one, Vinny. Just by the way, Rosso smells like yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just sent out another link to someone to see if they're going to jump in. Right, what time? Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to back out as well, guys. Nice one. Um, Thanks for joining us, Shane. It's been an honor having you on yeah. here. If uh, anyone wants any coils, just drop us on Facebook and uh, we'll sort you out. What is it again? Big Boy Coils. Big Boy Coils. There you go on Facebook. All right. Nice one, dude. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. All right. See Thanks you, a lot. See Thanks you again soon. Take care, fella. So let's just have a quick go back. To the comments, so we've got going on here. Uh, see you later, later, later. You're going on longer. Um, does someone want to write back to Chris and say, um, a little while? Right, Craig, I just sent you a message on Facebook. Yes, I did get that. I've just added you in, Craig. Well, I sent you the request. What you've got to do is open up Google, the Google homepage, Google. Where it's the search bar on Google with the funky whatever it is today, and then make sure you've signed into your Google account. Next to that little icon, which which will be your profile picture, there'll be a little box with nine little squares in it. That'll be Google Apps. Open that. Scroll to the bottom. Click more apps. Go to the bottom. Open Hangouts. You should have a request in there. If not, failing that, click this clickable link. No, not that one, because that's your email address. I don't think you want it on the stream. Uh, bear with me, and I'll do it. Anyone else want to take the mic? Anyone got anything to say? I was just going to say I'm going to head out myself. I need to get my ugly sleep. <laughs> your ugly sleep. Love oh, it. Yeah. So, take care, everyone. You too, man. Vape on, vape safe. And until the next time. Nice one, mate. Catch you later. Thank See you, mate. Say hi, Nicky. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, Chris has just uh, said he's at the shop tomorrow morning. So probably not. No worries. <laughs> so, what do you guys? What did you think of the show? I think it was pretty good. It was nice. We're quite quite relaxed. Didn't feel any pressure. <laughs> You guys, this, was, uh, this was my first time watching the show. Nice. Who, who do you sub to? Uh, Nick. Okay. Silly hey. question, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw him go live on his channel, and then I followed you guys onto this channel. Cool. Nice. That's well, nice. that's good because we're going to be switching channels every week, so you're going to have to pay attention to see who is going to be on next week. And I think... Oh, I I got them wrote down. I think next week. It, the links are in the description of that video as well, if you've got to check that out. Um, but, yeah, I think next week we're probably going to be on Chris's channel, Empire Vape Co. Um, but, yeah, the, the goal is to grow everyone's channel. You know, I have currently the biggest channel out of everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Rubbing it in. There's a salt in the wound. <laughs> but the goal is to grow the other guys' channels as well as like getting everyone else some exposure too. Because like you know, I'm an American reviewer. These guys are all from the UK, so I need I kind of want a bigger presence in the UK, and they want a bigger presence in America. And I feel like this is the best way to do it. So 
not only that, but we're also going to be bringing in some more UK reviewers. I have currently. Hold on, I can't hear you. <laughs> Someone needs to mute their stream. Cloudy. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, you're helping your friends out while, you know. Right, yeah. A bigger presence in the UK. <clears throat> I think Cloudy Craig there, needs to like the stream the here. Show, Cloudy Craig, do you hear us? I don't know, yeah. Yeah, can you just no. turn your screen down a minute? Nick's just in the middle of the same sign. Uh, mute to the YouTube channel in case you get confused. Can you hear me now? Yeah, nice yeah. one. Oh, cool. <laughs> sorry about that. That's right, no worries. So, yeah. Um, I can still turn the TV off, man. Echo like crazy. Did Chris get his monster in the end? <laughs> yeah, I can hear Craig, can you mute your stream? Yeah. Hang on. Cheers. There you go. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. We good? <laughs> Right, Craig, <laughs> Craig, one minute, yeah? I'm going to mute you for a minute while, while Nick just finishes off his thing, then you can unmute yourself after because we're getting a lot of feedback. Yeah, go on, Nick, sorry. <laughs> well, I was going to say, um, so, yeah, I'm trying to increase my presence in the UK. These guys are trying to improve, you know, the their US presence. And not only that, it's going to help everyone in the long run, so... You know, get everyone some some subscribers, and you know it's just different. You know, because you see a lot of other people doing the the same thing where they just have like the the stream on a separate channel and this and that. But I feel like this doing it this way is going to be just different enough. And not only that, we're going to bring in other UK reviewers as well. You know, we we are uh, we are all Vape Finder reviewers. Uh, Vape Finder is the app over in the UK and Europe right now that you can find. Vape shops, deals, and all sorts of good stuff, as well as <coughs> reviewers. So we're doing um, we're do doing that, and we're going to bring in other vape finder reviewers to come on camera with us and do these uh, nice shows. Nice and hard. But uh, also, we're going to be bringing in American reviewers as well. So you know, I'm friends with a lot of the American reviewers, like Grim Green and Matt and V. Um, you know, Ruby Roo, Zofi Vapes, Mike Vapes, Tony from Vapor Trail Channel, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, hopefully we're going to be getting those guys on the show at some point in time. Obviously, the, street, the show is relatively new, so we're going to kind of work out some of the kinks and get our format down. But, uh, you know, in the coming few months or so, you can definitely look forward to seeing some of your, your favorites on here besides, besides moi. So <laughs> that, that's my spiel. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Um, so Gumba just said, oh, you guys broadcast in the same time as Vic. Oh. And um, Chris, he said, Dan, i got five months to hydro for the week. <laughs> right, so here we go. Right, um, one second. Let me... Uh, how do I unmute you? Mick, uh, Mick, Vic broadcasts later than us. We, we, we've talked about this actually with Vic yeah. and our normal time slot. The actual show itself is not during Vic's time slot. So, uh, it's not competing. And as far as that goes, but as far as after shows go, I mean, it's anyone's call. Basically we might not do an after show. This is like yeah. kind of a, random thought we had halfway through the show so with that i mean if you guys want to come hang out with us it's all good if you want to go check out vic's show by all means yeah it's all good also right um cloudy it's time for you to introduce yourself you might need to turn your your volume down on whatever you're watching on 
and then I'm mute. Oh, you've unmuted it. So yeah. <laughs> right, um, sorry about all the loud noises. It's just the phone playing up. Um, but I'm Cody Craig. I will be going on YouTube at some point uh, to do a few reviews. So I don't know what I'll be reviewing yet until I get my camera and my mic at some point. Okay, nice. So, nice. so um, what, what are you vaping on? Uh, I'm vaping on Killer Custard by EVC. Oh, nice um, So I got it from Vape Show. Uh, at the London Olympia, not long ago, it just happened. Nice. So, nice. Um, I'm, hope, I'm hoping to try and get some more of the juice at some point. Oh, so you was at the London Vape Show? Did you see me and Nick? Yeah. We was both there. Uh, yeah, I saw all of you, but I didn't get the chance to say hello or anything like that. So. Nice. Yeah, I've struggled approaching you guys, unfortunately, but uh, I've got to say hi to Chris and uh, Vinny. Point. Nice. Right, Dan, yes, by all means, plug your channel, mate. Right. I'm just going to uh, put out there. Okay, so I'm only do, recently started doing juice for you, so I'm going to put that into the chat. No, it won't let me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you can probably search for me with Foxtown Elite. Um, if you don't can't find me as Foxtown Elite, it'll be down as uh, DC Gifted. I can't change that until I get 1,000 uh, subscribers or views. So I'm not entirely sure on that one. If you want to um, PM me the link on my page, I'll put it up there for you. Okay, sure. Yeah, nice one. Nice. Uh, put it up there now. There you go. I think that's the link anyway. Yeah. But yeah, okay. the after show thing, I think it's a good thing. Because this is where we can, like, like exactly what we're doing now, um, get some of the viewers in, get them really involved rather than just having comments being dropped and we're shouting them out and that like this is the sort of thing that I, I, I like like you know getting people involved just that little bit more getting you guys to come in on the stream so so like you know you you guys are setting up channels and whatnot and you're doing you're gonna start doing reviews and stuff like that so you actually get a feel for what it's like to be like live streaming um, pick up some like you know basically it breaks the ice sort of thing because when you do it for the first ever time like it can be like quite nerve-wracking and stuff like that see I don't normally do like video reviews as such but I have started to do them now on my channel but everything I used to do was pure live Facebook live but then obviously when I met up with the guys they told me hey Joe YouTube's the way forward so obviously I took the plunge straight into the deep end and then yeah so like i like streaming it's just a good thing like you know I, I don't know i just just love the interaction with the viewers and you know we we try and read out as many comments as as we can and we like get you guys involved on on like the main show with like reading your comments out and stuff like that and giving you shout outs but then with the after show thing i think it's like yeah it, i think it's quite a good idea just to get you guys in and just you know so it's just it just mixes it up a bit people don't normally do this sort of thing but i hope you know we're different well we're, we're we're the super awesome vape show well after <laughs> show, show. so why not uh how long has everybody been vaping for when did everybody start i've been vaping myself probably about um, five years five and a half years now um, I've been vaping for going on six years, six years in November. Wow. I started, uh, I had one of those terrible cigarette light things, which I just went back smoking pretty much a month after. Um, so I've been smoking on and off, well, I've vaping on and off for the past three years, um, but I've only gone full time since the beginning of this year. Um, so I've, I've gone through different mods. I've had a EV, uh, was it a Joytech, uh, the EVIC uh, VT1 thing, which I had for like two, three years. And then I uh, started getting different mods this year. Um, I've been vaping for about two years now. Um, I was on and off to start with. Uh, I was using one of the cheap little e-cig pens you could get from a store. 
Um, but then I went on to a Kenga Tech uh, drip box, and since then I've quit smoking. So nice, nice. Cat. I started five years ago, um, but at that point I was using a pen, and I got advised by the uh, midwife to quit vaping while pregnant. So I gave up, and then I went back to smoking and then went back uh, three years ago um, and I haven't touched a fag since. So someone's got some really, really bad, bad feedback. Um, yeah. Shouldn't be, oh. It's not me. No, I can't, uh, don't think it's me. It's, I think it's Craig. Sounds like Craig, he's in the toilet. In the background? <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing running in the background, as far as I know. You don't got a TV or something going? No. All I've got is my phone and that's switched on silent. It wow. sounds it sounds more like stream feedback. I think this is internet really probably. Is that because you're borrowing the Wi-Fi from next door? <laughs> 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 it's probably because I've got shitty internet at the moment. Um, I'm using Sky. So <laughs> Hey, I don't oh, know. You don't need to knock the sky. I'm on sky. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'm in my uh, bedroom, so I'm in the back room, so I'm not really getting any really good uh, internet, really. So there's no other place I can go at the moment to vape. My mum and dad won't let me vape in anywhere else. <laughs> All right. Well, to be fair, my log cabin is down the bottom of the garden. I'd say a good 25, 30 metres away from my house, and I've run... A, a, um, an ethernet cable in through the bedroom window where it is it well into the computer room window up there in the study and I've run it down like a, a washing line down the garden and it comes into the log cabin directly into a secondary router wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so high tech Jay. <laughs> <laughs> well it chills up as a washing line what more can you ask for big grills eat your heart out <laughs> So yeah, um, what did so Chris put? I'll be on all night next week. Uh, I like speaking to the viewers and if any of my subscribers, then awesome, nice. That's cool. Um, sounds like someone's passed him from an aquarium. <laughs> oh, I love that comment. I love that comment. All right, I'm gonna have to call it night. I'm off to Belgium tomorrow, and I'll come back on Thursday. So uh, you guys, go to time. What are you doing yeah. in Belgium? I've got a uh, training for some laser projectors. I'm a techie, so. <laughs> nice, nice. So, anyway, Dan, nice of you to join us. Thanks for jumping in on the stream. Thanks for nice to allowing me to join. No, you're welcome. More than welcome. <laughs> right. You guys have a good time. Keep on faping. Bye, Dan. Bye. See you. Nice meeting you. Why? Jendai, uh, yes, I do have my own log cabin for vaping. This is just what you can see here. Let me just see if I can just do something with my camera angle or oh, my camera. One second. Let me do this. <laughs> Let me get this up. Speaking of camera angle, I was considering keeping this camera as a secondary camera. Maybe for like uppy closey sort of thing. Yeah, I like, I like that camera. Like, that angle is good. I don't, I don't know why. I just, I don't. I'm not particularly happy with my camera angle that I've got at the moment because obviously it's for like my live streams on Facebook and it's way over there and I've had to zoom right in, so it's not the best quality. But so if I zoom out, you're gonna see all the crap now. Oh, look how messy it is. <laughs> oh so, wow, your camera's far away. Yeah, really far away. So this is just like, you know, I've got all my light in my mic and all the lighting up above me and all the other. I've got three cameras set up here. Um, you can just see the bottom of one camera just there. <laughs> that, that's the bottom of another camera for a different angle. Then I've got one on the TV monitor there and obviously the one that I stream from. But like, this is just one section of it. It's such a mess in here. That's why I zoom in so no one can see the mess. <laughs> So, yeah, and, and, and it looks a bit better like that as well. So, yeah, 
Hey, Nick, is, is your studio room in your house, or is that down mm. at the vape shop? That is at the vape shop. I have a full-blown, like, I call it a studio because it feels like a studio. If It's got the soundproofing foam on the walls. Yeah, it looks, it looks like a studio. I've got to get me some of that. Just quickly, um, Foxhound Elite, thanks, guys. Good night. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah, go on, Nick. Oh, yeah, as I was saying, I've got to get some of them little foamy things. Man. Oh, I think they're awesome. Yeah, they're worth it, especially like when the sound tends to bounce around. Like honestly, Jay, your mic sounds pretty good, like where it's at right now. That's a, uh, I'd say that's a good like a good distance away from me. It's about half a meter, three quarters of a meter away from me. But I don't get any echo or anything, which is perfect. I was getting crazy echo. Um, I was dealing with that when uh, I was recording without the foam pads, and I just had to make a change. Normally, I don't record or anything I used to record uh, in my room when you know back in the day um, but I had to make a change because you know it's it's more professional now that I have like a proper like little studio to record in but other than that I would say like uh, I, I don't have any distractions around me you know I don't have a computer screen in front of me I don't have like notifications going off and everything else when I'm in my little studio I'm in the zone <laughs> but when it comes so to you, here uh, well I was just gonna say I just ordered a Brio Logitech Brio the 4k webcam I just ordered one of those so that's what I'm gonna be streaming with uh, in the next couple of well coming it'll be here by the next time we do the stream so next time you'll see me it'll be on a really nice webcam like this is a C930 e which is pretty much pretty much the top of the line except for the 4k but I just took the plunge and went with the 4k just cuz but you're only gonna benefit from that when you're doing actual videos because you're throttled by YouTube on your upload and your bandwidth and all that so yeah I mean the best I'm gonna get is slightly better than 10 1080 I mean <coughs> you, you might get it up to 2k but I doubt it <laughs> it's severely throttled especially with Google Hangouts yeah, so like, I'm on the 920. Like, I think it's quite good. Like, Considering how zoomed in you are, yeah, it's really good. I'd say that's about two and a half meters away from me as well. Yeah. Now uh, this I have mine zoomed in as well. Let's see. Zoom it all the way out. There we go. That's all full zoom, wide angle. Nice. <laughs> Do you know what? I so think I was. I'm gonna talk my wife into get me one of them Mevo live stream um, jobbies. Have you seen them? The little Mevo cams. I haven't. So it's a Mevo. It's it's just basically it's like a round. It's it's probably as round oh. as that, but half the size. And it's got nine artificial camera angles in there, and basically you control it with like an iPad or an iPhone or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I have and, seen that. And then you link it up to your Facebook account and you can stream live straight from it. So you can set it over there and literally you can have like a few people sitting around it and then you just double tap on the screen and it will zoom into that double tap position. And then if you like double tap, then swipe your finger, it will zoom in and then pan across to where you want it to pan to and then zoom back out. And, oh, <coughs> awesome. That's page. cool. But it's about $600, I think, for the kit. Ooh. I was going to say that sounds expensive. Everything is expensive. That's what people don't realize when it comes to streaming or making videos is that if you're looking to get gear, it's expensive. I record my videos on a DSLR camera, a Canon, uh, and just my – I bought my, my camera just for YouTube strictly because I have another camera that I use for photography, but my live stream camera – or my, my – video camera that I used to record with cost me about almost four hundred dollars and then my lens was six hundred and fifty dollars wow. so you're talking a thousand dollars just for the camera and lens my mic cost three hundred and fifty dollars my tripod cost a hundred and some odd dollars what mic? Uh, I use a Shure Lenshopper VP83 oh yeah yeah it's nice nice so I, I've got a DSLR I did buy it for YouTube videos, but I've never used it. 
And I see Craig. Craig's down here. He's trying to talk. I muted Craig because of all, all the interference. <laughs> Oh yeah, go on. So Craig, you gotta unmute yourself or I I don't know if Jay you can do oh, it. Sorry about that. Um I was talking to my partner at the time, sorry. Um basically she was telling me about the juice I gave her. Um uh, that's the juice I just recently got. It's by Jurassic Juice. Um she's using that and she said there's a should be a little bit of menthol in it they should have put in it, so I'll probably have a guy have a go with the guys who actually do it. So nice. <coughs> um, was that sirens I just heard in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> probably not probably. <laughs> so where's everyone I've got, from? Uh I'm from South East London. Uh that's Kent, so Okay. Nice. I'm uh, from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Ha ha ha. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How to do that. Cat, where are you from? Rugby. 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 Um, oh, I'm, so I'm originally that's Scottish. Scottish, aye. Um, so, ain't um, Peter, the vaping pornographer, will open up um, a vape shop in Rugby, isn't he? Nick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. exciting. I'm, I'm, I've got his oils currently sitting in the beard. <laughs> He's got beard oil. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. Makes nice. it soft. <laughs> I got you all beat. I live in New Jersey, says Jen. Jay Jay-Z. Dirty Jers. Uh, Jendai says streaming uh, started dropping out for me, so I'm going to call it a night. Great show tonight, guys, uh, and great after show as well. See you next week. Nice one, Jen. See you, Jen. Thank you very much for hanging out. Us, as always. So, Nick, <coughs> are you from uh, Massachusetts or Connecticut? I'm from Massachusetts, but I'm from like the Springfield area, which is right on the border of Connecticut. It's only a couple miles away, so I work in Connecticut. Oh, okay. like literally 500 feet from the Massachusetts border. It's where the, your vape shop is. Yeah. Do you own the vape shop, or do you just work there? Just work there. But I'm that's the, cool. Uh, they give you a studio. Yeah, it's pretty flexible, so I like it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that sounds cool. We run uh, Blaz out of there as well. We have like the warehouse kind of thing in the back as well. So we're dealing with like the back room is almost it's it is in in fact bigger than the shop that you see. The shop that you see is like pretty small, and then you have like a uh, curtain set up, and then in the back we have like a big desk for all the paperwork and you know, uh, shipping, shipping department, uh, of Blazy liquid. And then we have like a backstock room for Blaz. And then we have a backstock room for the shop. So like everything's ran out of there. And then of course my office. It's awesome. It's awesome. Do you know yeah, it's my, good. Go ahead. My biggest gripe about these 10 mil bottles these toxic they're... little seals. You see them little seals? Oh, uh, my God. Yeah. They get on my nerves. Literally, especially when I'm trying to drip it onto my dripper, I, I literally drop it on top of it. It really bugs me. Right. Are those the little uh, hard 10 milliliter bottles? Like, are they real hard to press? Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, some of them are harder than others, but, yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, do you know if anything about the uh, if they're going to be bringing back any of the uh, big bottles uh, of juices at some point uh, for TDP, or are we just going to have to buy the big bottles and put the niche shots in? Well, yeah, that's the way that it's looking for at least minimum the next two years until we get the. Um, I know there's something. Going, there's something going on in October where they. They're having some talks or something. I can't quite remember. But what I'll do, because you've said that, I will look into that and we'll 
I can have a mention of that in next week's stream as it goes. Yeah, we oh, should have the, uh, the update. Because I've got a lot of people asking about that, uh, where I'm from. Because uh, they're complaining about where they've got all the 10 mil bottles now. Uh, they're not lasting them uh, that long. They're lasting them about two to three days. If that. So <laughs> I've told them just to try and equal it out just a tiny bit to try and save it. Uh, Dave asks, where in southeast, Craig? Um, Erif, that's in Kent. Erif? Yeah. Near Dartford? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Everyone calls it Dirt. <laughs> Everyone calls it Dirtford. That's near Belvedere, isn't it? Uh, yeah, uh, it's not far from Belvedere. Yeah, I went over to Belvedere the other week to pick up a bus. Uh, what bus did you get? Uh, one of our com our company's got a load of new buses for the new routes that we've just won inside the city of London. So I had to drive a literally. It was an old banger. Seriously, it was. The, I was on the M25, like the biggest motorway in Europe, and I was only doing about forty mile an hour. Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> but then when I picked up this new hybrid sensational thing coming back, oh my god, it was a dream. <laughs> I wish I could, you know, drive or whatever, but I'm only on a CVT license. <laughs> well. Norway's dream, that's the best thing out there. Dream and set yourself a target and then aim to achieve that target. Well, with your guys' train system over there, it's so efficient and so, like, relatively inexpensive. You get yourself, like, the Oyster card and <laughs> you got yourself public transport wherever you want to go. Nick, wow. you haven't been on the underground in rush hour in the city of London. Well, I'm sure, yeah. Yep. Mate. You got like, in fact, going into it. So if you go into work into the city in the morning, it's not too bad because everyone showers in the morning, all smelling fresh. Coming back at the end of the day, armpits and God knows what else in your face, mate. It's not. It's not the nicest thing. Let me tell you. Especially, especially when you've got a crowded train, it's bad, mate. But like, it's that bad. Like people were like. When people jump onto the train, the doors just close automatically. They don't open again. So if you get something stuck in the door, before it can pull off, pull away, you've got to, like, whatever's stuck in the door, you've got to pull it through the door. So, like, you get people <laughs> half stuck in and half stuck out and other people, other passengers trying to pull them in or kick them out or whatever, whichever way they want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when so, you've got someone who's uh, afraid of uh, small spaces. <laughs> Well, everything, what, um, I, what I did notice when well, I was Nick. over there is everything is so small. Like the hotel room I stayed in was like half the size of my bedroom here. <laughs> I don't know. Everything is like smaller. In America, everything is big. <laughs> yeah, but that small space, so like imagine if that, that room was bigger, that only fit like half the number of people in there and they wouldn't make they'd only make half as much money. So they make the room smaller to fit more rooms in there to get more people in there to earn more money. Yeah. Wait, Fair enough. Yeah. It's funny because I, I just uh, booked a hotel room for Vape Showcase in Dallas, and it costs about the same amount as what uh, – Tommy actually got my hotel room for me in London, which is awesome of him. Uh, but it costs about the same amount as what he paid for my hotel room in London as what I paid for in uh, Dallas. And the room in Dallas is like king size bed, like big open space. <laughs> nice. But I guess it depends on what city you go to because I paid for a room in, in Vegas and it was very expensive. Um, and you had to pay like resort fees and everything else, and it was crazy expensive for something that was like it was a big room, yeah, but it was like not the greatest quality. It was dirty and, and like the rundown, old. <laughs> oh, I bet they didn't even change the sheets either. 
Probably not. You know you got a bad hotel when you have a big sign on the door that says, don't smoke pot in the room. <laughs> <laughs> One had the actual word pot. Oh, I forget. But it had a big, like, leaf with a big X to it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Classy. Right, guys. <coughs> I hate to break up a lovely little after show party but i must go yep. to bed i am up yep. early for work in the morning i'm doing overtime because i've got the expo to go to in birmingham next month so i'm doing as much overtime as i can to take some spending money with me <laughs> well i appreciate you guys letting me come on uh very nice talking to you nick nice meeting everybody else and uh i definitely see you guys on the other channels you're more cool. than welcome. Thanks for jumping in, man. Well, I hope you uh, like the vape expo. Um, but I wish I could go, but I haven't got the money to go and do it. <laughs> There'll be. Don't worry. The vape, the London vape show will be back next year. That's for sure. Well, I'm hoping to try and go to uh, Vape Jam Four uh, next year coming up. Um, oh. Hoping to go up there for. The Three nights, just hoping. Nice. So, I might get through but, that one. Hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey Nick, are you gonna go to the Eastern Pennsylvania one? When's that? Uh, October fifteenth and sixteenth, I think. Um, I don't have anything Denver, planned. PA. I don't have anything planned that weekend, but I can't promise because I do have to take time off to go to Dallas. So right. I was just we'll, wondering. We'll see. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nice one then. I'm going to sign it out and do what I've got to do. So, guys, thanks for joining us. You guys especially, thanks for jumping in. It's what makes the show just that little bit different from everybody else's show and, you know, getting to get on the screen and be in the stream. Like, I just love the interaction side of things. So, yeah. But I, I'm sure as, as the like the streams grow and the after party or the after shows grow, and I'm going to have to moderate it a little bit better than just posting the link up there. times And stuff like that. But, yeah. Anyway, Nick. Thanks for hosting the thing on your channel tonight. Anytime. It was great. Um, Mitch, Kate, Kat, sorry, Mitch, Kate, and Craig, thanks for joining us. Um, okay. I'm going to sign See it off expo. now. See you at Expo. Everybody have a good night. Yeah, bye-bye. All right, you guys have a good night. So, see ya. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and to the viewers as well, the people that are watching, like, in the comments. Sorry, I forgot about you guys, but, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. As always, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Drop us a comment. <laughs> Ring the notification bell. And all that good stuff. Right. Cheers, guys. See you guys. <laughs>